Hi, I'm Ron Clark. Uh, I'm starting a new video series today with this video. Um, it's called Permuting the Tree, and it's going to be about permuting the tree, <laughs> working the, the gates on the Graw Tree, which I wrote a little book about. Um, it's very difficult for me to talk about this, not to write about it, but to talk about it. This will be my first time actually talking about it and sharing my own impressions of the Sephiroth and paths and working gates, etc. So, bear with me. This is something totally new for me. And I feel a little uncomfortable doing it. I'm not exactly sure why. Well, actually, I am sure why. It has to do with... Uh, these are not things that we can define concisely and precisely and, you know, um, speak to another person and convey to them the true meaning of our experience of them. Um, there are things that we can only sort of sketch a little bit, uh, relate our own experience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to relate my experiences of the Sephiroth and the paths and working the gates. These are just my experiences. They're not going to be your experiences. So, I feel reticent because I don't want to over-describe these things to you so that you're rigidly stuck in my way of perceiving. Um, but I want to say enough that you have uh, some sense of the territory. I want to be a map uh, but you have to go and follow the map and, and learn the territory for yourself because my experience is just my experience and I invite you to have your own experience is really what I'm trying to do here. So, <clears throat> well, where I will start is with the 46 components of the Graw Tree of Life. That's the 10 Sephiroth, the 22 lettered paths, the ones we're used to, and the 16 unlettered paths. These are connections between the Sephiroth that are not given letter uh, correspondence, no astrological correspondence, no body part correspondence, etc. No color, no tone, etc. Um, these are signifying experiences that you have to pursue for yourself to come to any kind of accurate understanding at all, uh, which are a little different than the lettered paths, because they are understandable. I can tell you what a, a lettered path is about, etc. And the Sephiroth, of course. Sephiroth are the foundation of the tree. The paths are just the connections between the Sephiroth. And that's how I treat the paths as connection between Sephiroth. Sephiroth is a state of awareness, a state of being. The paths are the shift that one goes through between this state of being and this state of being. That's the path. That's the path experience. So the paths are transitions, whereas the Sephiroth are states. States of being. States of awareness. Types of awareness. Um, so, this video here will be on the Sephiroth alone, and I'll go through the paths, the uh, 36 remaining components of the, the Graw Tree of Life in future videos. So, I think the best way for me to go about explaining the Sephiroth to you is to just journey through them myself and try to verbalize what I'm experiencing. Now, each Sephiroth has three perspectives from it. The perspective of the Sephiroth itself. This is sort of a horizontal uh, view. Uh, here I am in the Sephiroth. All I'm seeing is that Sephirotic state of awareness. 
Then there's the looking up. Um, you see from below upwards to the Sephiroth that is the next highest up. And then there is the looking down. So you look down into the denser parts of uh, existence. Um, so, three perspectives. Here, up, and down. So I'll cover all three of those. And then what I call opening my eyes. Um, opening my eyes and looking around the world um, as that Sephiroth. So how that Sephiroth shapes what I experience. Okay? So, altogether there's four different perspectives for each Sephiroth. And this is just going to be a sort of a, a wandering, spontaneous narrative that I hope makes some sense. <laughs> okay. Throughout this, I will be probably holding on to this wonderful obsidian sphere. It's good, it keeps me grounded. So, for this talk, I need to be grounded, well grounded. So, Kether, Kether is I. Everywhere, in every direction, it's I, I, I. Uniform I, solid I, infinite I in every direction. For me, Kether is whiteness, complete absence of color, one homogeneous whiteness, and I am a part of that whiteness. And I am not a, a person within the whiteness, I am a part of that whiteness, and I am infinite. I encompass all being, all of existence, is I. Just I. When I look up, I'm slightly puzzled. There's something else beyond me, beyond I. But it doesn't exist. It doesn't have existence. It doesn't have being. It is Ainsolf. Nothingness. Then there's I. I is all there is. And I look down. And I see that I has all these parts. All these pieces that are together, the I. Oh, and I spread myself out into them, into each one of them, and inhabit them. Wherever I touch, I inhabit that. Oh. And then there is I. And I open my eyes, and everything I see around me is I. <laughs> everything, there is I. It is all I. And I realize that I have being. I am. I am, that is Hokuma. I am. I have meaning. Everything about me is meaning. I mean everything. Infinite variety of meanings. This is Hokuma. Central meaning. I mean something. I think. I feel I mean something. I mean something. Central meaning. Everything around me has meaning. And all of that meaning is constant.
constantly, eternally expressing itself. That's what meaning does. It expresses itself. I am, I am, I am me. I am this. I am meaning. Infinite variety of meaning. Oh. And I look up and I see Kether. I see the eye and it shines down into me, filling me with light, with Catholic brilliance. I am the clear light, the white nothingness of light that contains everything. Ah, Catholic brilliance shines down from Cather, unreserved. It just flows, rushes into me, and I am filled with meaning. I look down. Oh, and I see the infinite array of meaning that I am. Infinite variety. All oh, little grains of myself. Little bits of meaning. Everything is meaning. Oh, and I open my eyes. Oh, and I see that everything communicates its meaning. Everything expresses itself. Everything has meaning. It's all there. Shouting its meaning constantly. Oh. Now we come to Bina. Oh, dark blackness. Obsidian blackness of Bina. Where everything has form. All the meaning of Hakma has form. Everything has shape and size and color and sound and scent and oh, everything has shape. Everything has form. All those meanings, those infinite number of meanings, each have a perfect form. Each has a perfect form that communicates the meaning. All forms communicate meaning. It's so loud, so much meaning being communicated through form. Oh, it's so beautiful. Every form is absolutely perfect in its communication of its meaning, its expression. Oh, there's meaning in every form. Everything has form. It's all form. It's so beautiful. It all fits together. One. Oh, it's all form. And I look up and I see me rushing in. Just rushing in. This great flame. This great fire of meaning. It's penetrating me and creating just popping out form after form after form, constantly new forms, oh, constantly, oh, form, everything has form, and I look down, oh, and I see that I have given forth, given birth to an infinite variety of forms, all of time and space lies below me, I am the mother of it all, the mother of all forms. There's a form, there's a form, there. Oh, there are all my forms, infinite forms everywhere. Oh, my form. And I open my eyes and I see that every Everything communicates its essential meaning perfectly, oh, so clearly. Everything communicates its essential meaning through its perfect form. And then there's different down here.
individual self. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. And that I am. And that I am. And that I am. I am everywhere around me are an infinite number of individual I ams. This is different. Everything around me glows with I. I am each one of us, individual, unique, separate, yet connected. All in this world of individual selves, we are all equal. Individual selves, we each shine forth with our individuality, our own combination of a central meaning, and we all shine forth simultaneously. The brilliance is overwhelming, so bright and glowing and alive, alive. Oh, I look up and I see the mother of all form, she shedding form down into our realm. Oh, all these new forms. Oh, mother, reach up. individual self, giving birth to all these parts, all these different parts, all these different parts, but foremost, the connection with all other individual selves, oh, the world of individuals, brilliance, and I everything around me has an individual self, an individual construct that is a combination of essential meaning being communicated, expressed through its form. Oh, the I in everything is small and unique in everything. There is an I in everything. see here in its blueness, oh, everything is connected. All those individual selves touch on each other, connect with each other, far and wide, we all are connected. We all share so much more than our differences. We are each unique, but we are each connected. We are all individual selves connected in this whole infinite realm of individual selves everywhere. Connection. Oh, connection. And I look up and I see this realm of individuals, this brilliant sunlight of beauty feeling and warming us as we have our connection. It is what empowers our connection, what fuels our connection, fires our connection. It's the individual lights. We are all individuals connected. Oh, and I look down. Oh, and I see that we are also separate, that we are also unique. Oh, there's such great power in that uniqueness. Oh, the individual self. Oh, I go through so many incarnations down there in the, the solidity of space and time. I see myself reaching down, coming back up with experiences. And I grow. I reach down. I am an individual. Oh, and I open my eyes. Oh, and I see that everything is an individual that's connected, that's connected to other.
ourselves. Everything fits together in this moment. It all is in its perfect place, in its perfect form, its perfect expression. And it's all connected. It's all connected. into Kabura as a breeze, as a breath of air that inflates the moment, and I find that I am unique in all of my connection. I am unique. I have my power that is my power that is connected to all the other powers in the universe, infinite number of powers connected, all working together, all perfectly in synchrony, all working together, each of us with our own individual, unique power. Oh, I'm so strong, and so strong with all the other strong individuals, all this power together we have. We create the universe. We create, we fire it. We energize the universe with our power. Oh, and I look up and I see I am connected to all this power in the universe. I am connected to all this power. And I wield my unique power in honor of the connections. Oh, I am unique and powerful. And I look down. And I see that my power reaches down into existence. It has significance. It is significant. I am significant in the world. And all... Oh, these people around me, all these individuals, are powerful together. And we create, we create the universe, the world, and time and space. Oh, I'm powerful and unique. Oh, and I open my eyes. Oh, whoa. significance. I interact with everything around me. I impact it. I interact with it. Oh, oh, oh I am connected to everything and everything has power and it's all relative to me. All relative to me and I see that everyone around me, their world is relevant, relative to them. Oh, we are all relative to each other. We all interact. I touch. I feel. Oh, I hurt. I heal. Oh, it 
It's all related to everything else. We weave together this magical existence oh, of meaning, significance, everything. Oh, everything takes on this dimension of significance. Oh, that's important. That's not. It's important. That's not. It's important. That's not. Oh, it all means something. And I flow in relation to meaning and significance all around me. As far as I can see, it's all so colorful. Exciting, thrilling, full of significance. And I look up and I see the power that pours into this world of significance, sets it aflame, sets it to stir, oh, excites it to life. Oh. And I look down, oh, and I see how significance weaves everything together makes it more and more solid. Oh, yes. Weaving it, winding it, knitting it together. Significance. Oh, significance. I open my eyes. Oh, and I see significance all these things around me I feel them oh, some things feel so square oh, so rigid other feel so soft so fluid mm, yeah, that brings me joy these memories they bring me joy oh, these make me sad Feel the significance of everything, and it makes it makes me feel. It makes me. It affects me. It changes me. I interact with it. I change it. I influence it. I radiate. I resonate with it. Everything resonates with me. Set things moving. I set things aflame and things set me aflame. They take me for a dance. They make me still. I resonate with everything around me. We're all connected, all bouncing off of each other, constantly bumping into each other, all resonating. Alive, ah, vitality, resonating, energy moving in between. We're all trading energy with each other. Ooh, in and out with energy. And I look up, oh, and I see how the significance oh, regulates this resonance, how the significance keeps it all moving. All bouncing around. Oh. oh, I'm radiating. I'm resonating and I look down. Oh, and I see that there is a limit. A limit. And how that resonation works its way all the way down to the present moment physical present moment where the, everything bounces off of each other oh but it has limits doesn't it no oh, resonating resonating oh then I come to hold hold my
imperial hug. Why, yes, I resonate, but I also choose. I choose how much I will resonate with what I will resonate. How much? How little? Ah, oh, I choose how I resonate, how I interact with the world. I choose and I say, this is me. This is me. I do not change for you. Okay, I change for you. No, not for you. Okay, I change for you. Not for you. Oh, oh, I choose. Oh, and that just increases the options infinitely. Oh, oh, the incredible splendor of all these options. All oh, the changes, all oh, the choices that I choose, that I choose, that I make, the choices that are mine to make, oh, that just increases so much infinite splendor. Oh, gosh. Oh, it happens so so quick, all these choices being made constantly, oh, in a split second, oh, over and over and over and over, oh, this active, busy world, which I navigate, which I make my way through. coming into me, but I must say, wait, the water stops here. I hold the water. The water stops here. It doesn't all flow away. It flows only to here. Oh, and I look down. Oh, and I see how this fixes everything, creates finite moment of time and space, the final ingredient, the final binding is me making my choices, me having to always choose. choose whether or not it does affect me and how much it affects me. I am the one in control of my being, in perfect control. Ah, I see, and I choose which influences I adhere to. Receptacle of everything, receptacle of I, of essential meaning, of form, of connectedness, of separateness, significance, individuality, of resonance, of dissonance. I am the receptacle of and it all comes right here into right 
now. This very, very present moment of time and space where it all weaves together in this concrete existence, this concrete existence that is ever-changing, is ever-changing, that is infinitely finite, infinitely small space of time holds all of space and time in its grasp. solid beings, infinite in scope, filled with infinite change, right now, right here, I am here now, and all above me, everything above me, pouring into me, pouring in, binding me to this place and this time. And I look down into the infinite, the infinity of time and space, and I see the eye. the eye. I see Kether at the bottom of this black, black hole. There is the eye. Oh, I bring her with me. And I bring with me everything I absolutely alive. Oh God, it's all alive. It's also full of I. Oh, it's all so full of I. It's all alive. I hope that was as good for you as it was for me. Um, I hope that helps you to understand some of what I experience of the Sephiroth. So when it comes to working a gate, which is a combination of at least two Sephiroth and the connection between them, it can be a combination of up to six uh, paths in between and six Sephiroth, okay? So, what I do is, I go into that Sephirotic state of mind, and then I look down to that other Sephiroth that I'm traveling to, and I shift my awareness from this state to that state, and that is the working of the path. And together, I go down, and then I come back up, and together that is a gate. Okay? Okay. So, till the next time, and the next of the pass. Okay. Bye-bye.